Hey, hey, it's John Mark, and welcome to today's lesson on teaching you how to sketch. Today's lesson, I'm going to be going over how to draw this cute little prairie dog. And as you can see, as I'm sketching, I'm building up the face first. I have the oval that I created, and I'm working on the cheek and the nose there. And I'll just take it from one little simple step at another. I have in my mind what I like to see, the final one, but you never know what's in your mind and what it always comes out when you're sketching. That's the, the rule with sketching. This is not a final drawing again. This is just to get you uh, to that final stage. All right, so as you can see when I'm working with my mechanical pencil, I'm currently working with an HB. That's like a number two on your pencil. You can go either softer or harder. I don't mind the HB. Uh, sometimes I'll go softer. I wouldn't go harder on that for myself. And I'm working on the hair and the in the ears and the nose, and I'm just working on that. And I'm, as I'm drawing this, I'm also thinking, how's this body going to be looking? Or what's he going to be doing? So before starting that, my imagination was he's going to be leaning on a big rock and a bunch of grass and elements. So you're going to see the front of his head to the back side and his arms primarily, not the whole body. All right, so now I'm working on his little arms right now as if they're on top of a rock. All right, there we go. That's looking good. And, and sometimes, believe it or not, you may want to draw the rock first uh, and then build a body around that so you can do that. Again, this is just a very quick, quick sketch. In this case, what I'm just trying to do is get that pose with his hands on his face and uh, holding up his head and and here we go here's the rock where I'm just going to add in place right now there you go all right just really just roughing it in and after if this was, turns out pretty good I could either use color it in watercolor color pencils or take it to my digital computer uh, it's another tool a computer is just a tool. You are the artist. A computer doesn't make you a better artist. You need to be a good traditional artist to appreciate the tool as a computer. All right, that's looking good. A little bit more little technique in the back, a little shape there, a little shadowing, getting on this little tail. All right, that's looking good. Let's look a little darker on the, uh, the eyes there. And as you notice, I start very lightly when I'm sketching, and then I'll build up on it. Sometimes you'll see me even sketch on my step-by-step -step lessons with a blue pencil first and then finally work on my uh, dark lead that I have on top of that. That's that's perfectly fine. In this case, I'm just making sure that you can see the lines that I'm working on, how I just overlap it. As if this was like a nice little uh, sketching pad. All right, there's a little nose. I'm going to highlight that. And I'm just going to, to like go all the way around so you can see it sticking out. As you can see, I made that little eyes a little bit darker, and now I'm going to put that little mask around him. All right. Pretty simple. Nothing too major or anything. As you can see here, what's also good is just relax and uh, take your pencil strokes wide and quick, and, and feel free to rotate the paper. Don't have to think the paper has to stay stiff. Again, as I shared on some of my other sketching videos, that's how a traditional animator works on his box. He has a nice wheel on there. He can rotate it all the way around. Makes it easier. All right, let's get the little shape, little fur on his cheek there. And over on the other side. Yeah, there you go. And let's get underneath there of his mouth. All right, that's looking good. A little darker lines. As you can see, when I get more sure where the the lines are going to be i'll come back and i'll uh, emphasize them a little bit stronger in that case with his mouth coloring it in his cheek there well actually not his cheek that's his hand holding his head up all right it's a little bit more on the bottom a little sketching there for his fingers there's his arm his elbow his shoulder right back there leaning on the rock i'm just going to shade that in there to indicate like that's the, the background area. And not much more to do. Basic shape. Just put him in a nice little fun little pose. He could have been even on a sign and, and, and you could actually turn this into like a birthday card or get well card or hello or making a little fun message on there. So taking the same character, I can remove the rock and put it into a shape of another sign that he's on easy easily so sometimes that the illustration that you started from could lead you to other alternatives so make sure no matter what you do with the illustration like it or not don't throw it away it's an encouragement to see how you're going and also good reference later on all right here's a little bit different with the rock shape there let's get a little multiple shapes in there 
And as you can see, I, I bounce around with my my pencil from one area to another area. It's whatever I, it catches my eye at that moment. I said, oh yeah, I gotta try to do this and there and here. And now I'm just gonna add like some quick little grass blades back and in front of the rock like it's in front of him. Give him some little dimension on the plane so it's not just all just one. That's looking good. I like that a little here. Just about done. I can see a little small ones here and there. And as always, what I always make sure that you guys do, always sign and date it so that you know when you did it so you can see uh, how you are improving as a as an artist, which is a key thing. All right, that's looking a little bit more shadowing here, there. Again, this is just a sketch, not final in any which way. It's just to get your ideas out. All right, sign and date. And I want to say thanks for checking out this video and have a great day. Don't forget to stop at our website, that's jmg-studio.biz. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're going to enjoy our latest drawing book that's now available on our website, How to Draw 50 Cute Cartoons. So make sure you stop at our website, that's jmg-studio.biz. And thanks a lot.